pays to understand how check valves work. Here are the important things to know. First, a check valve's components are in contact with each other all the time, even before gas or liquid flows through it. Any valve that's inactive for a long time can be susceptible to leaking or stiction where the O-ring has a delayed separation from the seat. When a valve contacts liquid or gas, certain chemicals can cause O-rings to expand and any debris in contact with the O-ring can keep it from seating properly. As the valve starts opening, a small amount of flow escapes. Is that amount minor or significant? Knowing this helps us pair the right spring pressure with the right O-ring. Once pressure builds, the O-ring lifts off and there's significant flow. We are now able to assign the opening pressure, one that exactly suits your application design criteria. With the valve fully open, the poppet travels to its limit. To raise flow beyond this takes a large increase in pressure. It's always good to order a valve with sufficient flow for your operating pressures. Now pressure decreases and the components begin to move back. Reseal pressure is around 20% lower than the opening pressure. Finally, the spring force compresses the O-ring enough to hold it in place. The valve reseals and resets, ready to repeat the process.